안녕, s a u d i k a p This is TJ from TJ Stories, and if you're new to my channel, I'm a globalized Korean expat working in Bangkok. And today I'll be taking you to Bangkok's very best and most prestigious hospital called Bamrungrad. I'll take you guys around the hospital as I do my annual health checkup. Also share with you the real costs of going to hospitals in Thailand. And if you stick to the very end of the video, I'll also give you a list of top five private hospitals in Bangkok. So stick around and stay tuned. All right, Japai Rong Payaban p a m u n g n a t a k a p Bye. Let's go. สวัสดีครับเดี๋ยวใส่ครับไปโรงพยาบาลปัมรุงราชครับปัมรุงราชใช่ครับปัมรุงราช was founded in 1980 it's the biggest hospital in southeast Asia valet parking wow this is ปัมรุงราช hospital it's divided into like two three separate buildings the hospital side that's the clinic side and ปัมรุงราช is one of the top the best and most prestigious hospitals and also the most expensive one as well Their own application. Let's see, they have things. So I'm at the registration section, uh, 11th floor of b a m u n g a t Hospital, and uh, I got this free voucher from my company that works with top 10 developers in Thailand. It's probably worth about six, seven thousand for this basic package. And I just got a queue and just register my. I already made a booking prior to coming here through email. It was like. Airport VIP lounge. What is up? I'm here for my health check. Please check your name. First. Okay. Thank you. Okay. EKG, EKG. Okay. heart, okay. and X-ray check. Okay. That's all about three to four hours. Oh, three to four hours? <laughs> yes. Because for the p a s e n t you need oh. to stay here about after get p a s e n t two hours. Oh. I didn't know that. And what about if I wanted to add um, like two more marker? How much does it cost? You have mobile phone in Taiwan, right? Yes. That for me, p e a p e r paper, moment, a okay. Please oh. take a t i c Oh, sorry, that's my. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll be taking additional tests for two more markers for GI and liver, prostate, because my family has history of cancer. I wanted to do that. Did my eye check, and then that's my blood pressure and blood tests, and I cannot fill them here. So I'm gonna do my blood test. Ooh, okay. My blood pressure was all fine. Blood blood test. They got three vials out of me, and it didn't hurt. It hurt at all. Guys, I ran into my friend Hello. Nick. Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you feeling? Are you uh, healthy? Yeah. Cup of tea. Yeah. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Cup. So I'll do. I need to change into that clothes over there. The locker room. So I'll change into my clothes. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my X-ray. And let me just study all the notes so I can give you better information. Here's what I found out. p a m u n g r a t means to nurture people. I just found out also. And my friend is filming me. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, this is awkward doing this, so I'm not allowed to film in there. So I'll see you after. Guys, that literally took only like 15 seconds, and I'm done. And I'm back to counter B to report back, and then finish with my EKG, I think. Uh, it's the first hospital in Asia to receive international accreditation uh, from JCI. First of over 800 hospitals in Thailand and outside of US to receive GHA as well. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's like the Oscars of hospital world. Uh, there are over 47 specialty um, centers within the hospital, with over 1,200 doctors that represent virtually all the specialties and subspecialties of medicine. So virtually, it's like a one-stop center for all the medical procedures, especially surgical procedures. And this hospital has, guess what? Over 1.1 million patients every year. Out of that, over 500,000 international patients coming from 190 different countries, and they do provide free translation services if you need them. Japanese, Arabic, English, of course, Mandarin Chinese. I just heard someone speaking in Cantonese just now. Very globalized hospital. And why do people come here for um, medical tourism? Because first, 
they have advanced cutting edge medical facility and technology. And second, the private hospitals, the high end ones, are just like luxury hotels, as you can see. And third, and the quality of service, as you know, in Thailand is amazing anywhere you go. Fourth, they have highly specialized doctors that have overseas international hospital experiences and education. And fifth, but the most important reason I think is the cost. You can save quite a bit for more complicated procedures. I mean, it's very difficult to estimate how much uh, everything costs because everyone has different needs. General rule is that the treatment prices here are about 30% cheaper than European countries and about 70%, 70% cheaper than the US, which I think is very overpriced from my personal experience. And another great thing about this hospital is that the hospital is so large, it has its own laboratory in-house. So when you have blood tests or whatever exam, most of the results will be out in less than one hour. Usually this process takes over two, three weeks in other countries, but in Bumrungrad Hospital, uh, super fast. Okay, I'm ready for my last EKG examination. Vital sign checked, blood chest checked, sex ray checked. Okay, EKG checked. Hi guys, so I'm finally done with my all my examinations. It took less than one hour and I'm just gonna wait for my doctor's consultation and the uh, waiting room and everything related to the cost. I'll do it when I get back home after I get my results. Can you believe this is a hospital? This is like five-star resort, you know? I have this complimentary snack that I can have. Kumkab. Okay, time to get me the... Well, I haven't eaten anything for about 20 hours, so this is also very out of the Anything tastes good when you're on an empty stomach. I must have been hungry, I finished everything. Okay, so no, no camera here. I just fine. had one-on-one -on -one doctor consultation and everything came out fine. Except that's quite disappointing is that I've always had very high cholesterol and today's number came out very, very high, over 330. And since all my families have very high cholesterol level and my body produces very high level of cholesterol too. So she told me I'd have to go see a specialty doctor upstairs. But the good news is that the, all the three tumor marker tests I did came out negative. So thank goodness. Thank you so much, Kofun Kap. I'm so grateful. And all my other results will be sent by email tomorrow. The doctor she recommended, uh, I can just go see him right away, like after 10 minutes. So everything's super efficient and fast in this hospital. So, all right, wish me luck and I'll talk to you guys after. So I have to go to cashier to pay. Um, uh, on my cup. Uh, okay. Thai QR code. Friends can come. I'm done with all my examination and I paid up everything extra that I did. So the bad news is that my cholesterol level is mostly genetic based. So she, he told me it's very hard to just control by healthier diet and exercise alone. So he recommends that I have to start taking medicine again. But it's okay, right? Um, at least the good thing is that everything else is normal and I'm healthy. So and I'll see you after when I get home. I'm back from my health check uh, back home and I found a quiet place where I can record and talk to you about the cost. You all must be very curious how much I paid, right? So here are my bill. The health check, I had a free voucher. Uh, it was valued around 6,300 Thai baht, which is roughly $200 US. So let's see how much it costed for the three tumor marker tests I did. 4,110. That's roughly like $130. Remember, I also had to go see a specialized doctor. The physician fee was $1,538, roughly around $50. I think it's a fair price to pay because you're getting this world-class service at one of the world's best hospitals. They also take insurance for any expats living in Thailand or if you're visitors. Uh, I highly recommend you have expat medical insurance uh, or your travel insurance that covers you know, overseas travel. For me, there are a lot of local insurance companies and also some Thai banks. They also offer some medical insurance. Actually, after a lot of my research, on local insurance companies. They don't cover outpatient treatments. Outpatient, I didn't know what that meant. It means 
anything that doesn't require you to be hospitalized. Inpatient is something that's more serious and you need to be hospitalized. So most insurance uh, packages here, they cover inpatient only. And the coverage wasn't that high. So in the end, I opted for expat medical insurance from a French-based company. And the coverage was much higher. I just found to, to be just more reliable. And the premium, I pay around like $100 US. If you live here, you should have expat medical insurance, just in case, you know. I remember when I was studying in the US, I had this little skin rash. So I went to a little clinic and just got it examined by a specialist, I guess. I found it weird because at the clinic, they didn't have a list of costs for different types of treatments that they offered. So I went back, lived my life, and a couple months later, I got this bill in my mailbox. And to my shock, it was close to $1,000 for that 10 minute visit for a skin rash. Uh, I was a student back then and I didn't have the money to pay. I remember I had to eat, you know, ramen noodles for you know a couple of weeks just to have enough money to pay that. After that shocking experience, I never went back to the hospital in the US. The system there is not very transparent with their pricing. I felt like they overcharged way too much. As I promised, here is top five best private hospitals in Bangkok. So most well respected and also highly rated hospitals that most Thai people regard the best hospitals but also the most expensive. And I remember just two years ago, I had this very bad flu. It went on for two, three weeks. So I finally went to a hospital and to my shock, it was bacterial pneumonia. Ugh. No wonder I was that sick. So for my doctor's visit, the consultation itself was roughly 4,000. Prescription medicine was around 1,500 to 2,000. So roughly everything was around 150, to like $200. For minor illness like headache or cold, if you go to these top private hospitals, um, the cost should be around like $1,500 to $2,000. Including the medicine, maybe you would have to pay two, three thousand. Actually, compared to the average income and cost of living here, going to an international private hospital in Bangkok is considered very high. If you're on a budget, there are a bunch of other great options for experts who have social security and you also have the option of going to public hospitals but i heard lines are much longer and the quality of service that you get is hit or miss so each hospital has their own specialized departments that they're especially good at so if you're looking for specific treatments my advice for you is that you do some research on your own and you can also go to um, thai visa forum it's a forum that Experts like myself, I usually go there whenever I have questions regarding life in Thailand, visa issues, anything that you can think of. For something simple as getting a blood test, or just getting a booster shot for your tetanus, or just getting medical certificate letters for your visa or work permit, I usually just go to those small clinics. There are a bunch of them located all around Bangkok. These are two small clinics I usually go to. First one is called Med Consult Clinic. It's in between Prom Pong and Tonglong area, next to the racket club, and they speak excellent English there. The second clinic I usually go to is called Blaze. It's located in a very convenient location, right next to BTS Asok. For simple procedures, I recommend these two clinics. And I have two other advices that will help you save money if you want to do your annual health exam. Sometimes they offer promotional packages, maybe buy one, get one free. And these promotions, are usually there but they don't usually advertise it for you know the obvious reason they want to make profit right do make sure that you call and ask if they have any current promotions I mean it doesn't hurt to ask right you can save up to maybe 50% my second advice for you a lot of the prescription medicine in Thailand it's legal to buy them off the counter with exception of couple medicines like sleeping pills maybe the first prescription medicine you can buy them at the hospital but if you need refills in the future the second and third just go to pharmacies and you can save quite a bit of money i want to help you guys save money anyways what did you guys all think about the bumrungrad hospital when i first went there i thought i was at a resort hotel i want my channel to be a place where people can discuss and help each other if you want to share any of your stories going to private or public hospitals or clinics in Bangkok or rest of Thailand, 
please write them down in the comment section below and let's talk let's discuss i hope you found this useful and i hope my advices can help you save money i believe prevention is the best and cheapest medicine and good health and your loved ones are the most important things in your life so please take care of yourself eat healthy and exercise often all right this is tj from tj stories and i'll see you next time i love doing research while i research for my youtube videos i also get to learn a lot about these topics that i'm interested in before i go to the hospital so that i can give you guys better and more useful information these are my cheat sheets front and back four pages i'm such a nerd right and during my research yesterday i found something very interesting to me the founder and the chairman of bamrunad hospital is the same as my high school friend's last name and unlike in korea where everyone has the same last name kim park lee they're all my brothers and sisters but in thailand if you have the same last name it's most likely that you're related to that person so if i had known i would have married her you know Anyways, if my friend is watching this, I'm just kidding. Put land, na? Put land. Let's go to the hospital now. I'm late now. Hey, okay, bye.